Birth of a legend. What's in a name? Well for one German automaker, just three letters are enough for worldwide success. But that success did not come easy, with the BMW company experiencing numerous challenges and setbacks. Based on today's overwhelming success and top reputation, it is very easy to think there were no dark moments or poor decisions in the world of BMW. But, with lasting core values of outstanding engineering, quality, and reliability, BMW has grown to be a leader in providing premium products, premium services and premium experiences for drivers through the decades. It has been through dedication, a commitment to quality and a desire to deliver what has come to be known as the premium automobile brand in the world, that BMW has not only earned the title of legend and icon, but retained that title through the decades, becoming each and every day a vehicle motorists aspire to own and to covet. The Beginnings First, some fun facts. BMW's origins can be traced back to three separate German companies, Rapp Motorenwerk, Bayerische Flugzeugwerk and Automobilwerk Eisenach. The history of the name itself begins with Rapp Motorenwerk, an aircraft engine manufacturer. In fact, the top luxury vehicle was born from a struggling airplane engine company, even at one time making pots and pans. BMW's founding fathers were Franz Joseph Popp, Karl Rapp and Camillo Costiglione. BMW is an acronym for Bavarian Motor Works in English and is the parent company of Rolls-Royce Motor Cars and also Mini Cars. Don't think for a moment BMW became a household name overnight. To achieve today's reputation, which is one of a vehicle that is the epitome of class, quality and luxury, much trial and error occurred. It is important to see how this legend took root, the ups, downs, financial troubles, slow sales, trying times and more. It is in looking back on the history of BMW, and recognizing and celebrating significant milestones along the way, that its true genius can be realized. It was over 100 years ago that Bayerische Flugzeugwerk AG, an aircraft engine manufacturer, was formed, a company renamed six years later to Bayerische Motor and Werke, or BMW, three letters that would eventually be linked to the top luxury brand in the world. The origin of BMW dates back to 1913, when Carl Friedrich Rapp formed Rapp Motor and Werke in a suburb of Munich. A well-known engineer in a German aircraft company, Rapp found that these engines had problems and suffered from excessive vibration. As a result, Rapp Motor and Werke contracted with Ostradamier to build V12 aero engines for aircrafts. The company saw success, expanding rapidly, but eventually Rapp resigned due to financial problems in 1916. At that time, two Austrians, Franz Joseph Popp and Max Frizz took over Rapp Motor and Werke. Another airplane specialist, Gustav Otto, started building small aircraft in a small shop named as Gustav Flood Machine Fabric. It was in March, 1916, that Rapp Motor and Werke merged with Gustav Flood Machine Fabric to form Bayersick Flugzeugwerk. The company was later renamed as Bayersick Motor and Werke, or BMW, the name of present day. The official founding date of the German motor vehicle manufacturer BMW, headquartered in Munich, was March, 1916, with the company manufacturing aircraft engines from 1917 until 1918 and again from 1933 to 1945. In fact, BMW's first product was a straight-six aircraft engine named the BMW ILA. Aircraft engines, motorcycles and automobiles would be BMW's main products until World War II. Its first logo with its signature blue and white was created in 1917. During the war, and against the wishes of its director Franz Joseph Popp, BMW placed its emphasis on aircraft engine production, with motorcycles as a sideline in ceasing automobile production in its entirety. Due to the fact that BMW's factories were heavily bombed during the war, its remaining West German facilities were banned from producing motor vehicles or aircrafts after the war. How did BMW survive? It made pots, pans and bicycles. Believe it or not. Fast forward to the end of the war, and BMW remained in business, producing motorcycle engines, farm equipment, household items, and railway brakes. The production of the company's first motorcycle, 
the BMW R32, was in 1923. BMW was already making a name for itself and being linked to greatness, as this motorcycle set a world speed record that remained unbroken until 1937. It wasn't until 1928, though, that automobiles became their business, with the first car sold as a BMW being a rebadged Dixie named the BMW 315. This followed BMW's acquisition of the car manufacturer Automobile Work Eisenach. In 1951, BMW was able to produce its first car since the war, a large saloon vehicle that sat comfortably up to six. While it was designed for the luxury market, this car did not succeed. But instead it played an important role in re-establishing BMW's reputation as a leader in the area of technology and quality. BMW resumed its car production in Bavaria in 1952 with the BMW 501 Luxury Saloon, and then went on to expand its range of cars in 1955. Moving into the small car market was not an easy task, with BMW finding it difficult to, to compete effectively against Volkswagen's compact, inexpensive cars. In fact, by 1959, the company was on the verge of bankruptcy and nearly taken over by rival Damier Benz. This is where its history takes an upswing. It was in that same year that BMW pulled out of its financial slump, with German entrepreneur Herbert Quant acquiring a controlling interest in the firm and BMW launching its 700 series, followed by the equally successful and sought after 1500 models. If that was not enough to kickstart the company, BMW introduced a new series of motorcycles that were extremely popular in the United States, and still are to this day. It was in 1962 with the introduction of the BMW New Class Compact Sedans that the beginnings of the automaker's reputation of today, a leading manufacturer of sport-oriented cars, took root. Throughout the 1960s, BMW continued to expand its range, adding coupe and luxury sedan models to its lineup. They launched their large, new, six sedans in 1968, including the 2500, 2800 and American Bavaria and Coupes 2.5 CS and 2800 CS. In 1971, BMW moved to its new and its current headquarters in Munich, a truly unique building based on a four-cylinder engine. They introduced in 1972 the BMW 5 Series midsize sedan range, followed by the BMW 3 Series Luxury Coupes in 1976 and the BMW 7 Series Large Luxury Sedans in 1978. Their story continued to unfold, with BMW M Division releasing its first road car, a mid-engine supercar in 1978 and the BMW M3 in 1986. In that same year, the automaker unveiled its first V12 engine in the 750i Luxury Sedan. BMW's M Group was created to facilitate the BMW racing program with all M vehicles tested and tuned at the BMW facility in Nürburgring, Germany. It was in 1994 that the company began production outside of Germany, setting up new factories in South Carolina, where the X5 and X6 are produced today, Oxford, Goodwood, South Africa and other locations. Also that year, the 6 Series was released to meet customer demand. By the end of the 20th century, BMW had established itself as one of the top automobile brands, becoming the epitome of class, quality and performance. Despite that, however, there was another setback, with BMW making a failed attempt to gain market share as a sport utility vehicle company. By purchasing the Rover Group in 1994, they lost roughly $4 billion, before selling the Land Rover brand to Ford in 2000. They retained only the Mini and Rolls-Royce models. Charles Rolls and Henry Royce founded Rolls-Royce LTD in 1906. United by a historic meeting at the Midland Hotel Manchester by Henry Edmonds who had a car showroom in London and a friend of Charles Rolls. The pairing of the engineering brilliance of Royce with the equally brilliant business acumen and financial backing of Rolls was to become legendary. Even today the name, Rolls-Royce, has become a byword for excellence. In 1931 Rolls-Royce acquired Bentley who were ailing due to the Great Depression. From then on, until 2002, Rolls-Royce and Bentley cars were almost identical aside from the radiator grills and other cosmetic changes. 
In 1980 Rolls-Royce was acquired by Vickers who in 1998 sold the company to Volkswagen. However they didn't have rights to the trademark name and logo. On January 1, 2003 a new agreement between Volkswagen and BMW came into effect, with Volkswagen retaining the name Bentley while BMW acquired the name Rolls-Royce and later that year produced their first Rolls-Royce, the Phantom. Sixty years after its launch, the Mini Cooper is still a polarizing little car, most people either really love it or somehow hate it. Many Americans were unfamiliar with Mini until its American launch by BMW in 2002 even though the car had been a pop culture icon in England since the 60s. Whether you love or loathe it, whether you are a longtime Mini fan or just getting acquainted with its pint-sized charms, keep watching to learn how this cult classic came to be. The original Mini was a result of a design challenge in from Sir Leonard Lord, owner of the Morris Company, to his top engineer, a man named Alec Isagonis, in 1957. After World War II, the English motor industry was facing a dilemma that may sound familiar to Americans today, cars had gotten large and fuel prices had gone way up. Isagonis worked with a small team of engineers to develop a solution. The Mini answered a call to create a fuel-efficient car that was affordable for the masses. BMW bought the Mini brand as part of its purchase of the Rover Group in the mid-1990s, and subsequently retained it when selling Rover in 2000. At the time both Rover and BMW had ideas about what a new Mini should be, but it was American designer Frank Stevenson, working for BMW, whose concept was finally approved. The result was not a car bursting with original thinking in the same way the original Mini of Sir Alec Isagonis had done but was still easily charming enough to reinvent this classic brand for a modern audience. Those first mini hatchbacks, built in Cowley, Oxford, are much more compact than today's offering, but at the time were still criticized by some for being bloated. Not that it mattered to buyers, who flocked to the new car, captivated by its retro styling, nods to the past included round headlights and an enormous central speedo, and the ability to personalize it to their precise requirements, which in turn created brand advocacy and drove profitability. The road to success continues. BMW paved the way once again, releasing the first mass-produced turbocharged petrol engine in 2006. This was at a time when most engines were switching over to turbocharging, which continued over the following decade. Throughout its history there have been a strong demand for BMW engines. Continuing to explore new horizons, BMW unveiled its first hybrid in 2010 with the Active Hybrid 7, and that was followed by its first electric car, the BMW i3 City Car, released in 2013. Rooted in a strong reputation of producing the top sporting rear-wheel drive cars, BMW introduced its first front-wheel drive car in 2014, the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer Multipurpose Vehicle, MPV. Today, BMW exports about 50,000 yearly vehicles to Japan, USA, Africa, Australia and the Middle East. In addition to its wide range of distinctive coupes, luxury sedans, nimble sports cars, spacious SUVs and more, BMW has decades under its belt of producing the top in automobiles that have a special emphasis on performance, style and technological advancements. Their logo is an icon in itself and its origins are truly interesting. While many believe that the logo was carried over from their aircraft engine days, this story is now considered a myth. The true origin of this iconic logo dates back to the merger of BMW and Rapp Motors in July, 1917. BMW took on the roundness of the Rapp logo and the lettering around the circle, eventually adding the colors of the Bavarian flag, which are blue and white checkers. It is a logo that has embedded in the minds and hearts of millions. In celebrating over 100 years and recognizing how BMW achieved the reputation it celebrates today, it is important to note that it is solely because of determination that BMW continues to thrive. They have lasted and triumphed in the business of making the best cars in the world and their reputation is solid. Friends, I think that's all you need to know about BMW. If I left anything out to mention, definitely write in the comments. Share your opinion about this car brand. As far as I know people fall into two categories, 
those who love this brand and those who hate it. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, where many interesting videos appear every Saturday.